Do you dream of becoming a K-pop idol but feel like it's far out of your reach? Believe it or not, people who pass K-pop auditions every year are only a little bit better than you, practice a little bit longer than you, and start sooner than you. It's astonishing how a little harder work can determine your future. A little harder work can separate an idol on stage from a nobody who watching a K-pop concert in the crowd. But one thing that can beat hard work is discipline. There are 10 habits that you can adopt to sharpen your talent bit by bit every day. Soon enough, your habits will become like natural talent, and you'll surpass people who only work hard for a short period of time. Habit number one, work in silence. Of course, if you want to achieve something big, it's exciting to run around telling everyone about how cool your dream job will be. But remember, telling someone your dream is the first mistake that most people make. When you tell people your dream, it triggers your brain to release all the dopamine you crave, making you want to share more and more. Soon enough, you'll lose motivation and feel exhausted because your brain thinks you've already achieved your goal. You've already imagined all those fake scenarios, so there's nothing exciting anymore. So try to keep it low. Keep your secret plan to success to yourself. If you want to show people how good a singer or dancer you are, practice in silence alone until you perfect it. When you finally showcase your talent, people will think you are a natural talent and encourage you to follow your dream even more than before. Work in silence at everything until you make it, whether it's about becoming a K-pop idol or anything else in your life. Habit number two, dancing habit. Dance to at least one song every day until you perfect it. It only takes three to five minutes to practice dancing to one song a day. Do this every day for a month and you will have danced 30 times a month. Your body will start to become more supple and flexible each month without you even noticing. But choose any song that you enjoy to avoid stress. In the first three months, you just have to dance or go with the flow, don't stress out too much. You don't have to copy an idol's moves, just dance by your own rules until you feel comfortable with it. After three to six months, start to slow down K-pop idol dance practice videos and copy their moves. By then, your body will be flexible enough to follow the hard moves that you couldn't handle before. After you finish this step, stop dancing every day but choose one or two days every week to practice dancing for an hour or two. This step is very helpful because it not only improves your liver and stamina, but it also helps burn off all your body fat if you do it long enough. Dancing for one to two hours is nowhere near the K-pop trainee training in the company, but at least it gives you a head start over other people. The last step is to choose one day a month to dance until you feel like your arms and legs will fall off. We do this to acclimate our bodies to the harsh conditions of the K-pop training program so that you don't drop out halfway. I see a lot of K-pop trainees who have great talent and a good singing voice, but they drop out halfway because of the long hours of training. So, passing the audition is just a baby step, finishing the training program is the true MVP. That's why you have to follow all these steps. Habit number three, singing habit. The first step is to choose a song that you like and try to sing it every day at least two to three times. Always change to a new song whenever you feel bored. Don't try to sing if you have a sore throat or are sick. This first step is to familiarize yourself with singing and embrace your vocal range. After one to two months, your voice will be able to handle high or low pitched songs. At this step, you need to find your own style of singing by choosing many different songs, including those that are challenging to sing. Try to find which kind of music style or role suits your voice the best. Choose that style and perfect it until it's in your best. Remember, if you want to be a K-pop idol, you don't have to be good at everything or able to sing every song. K-pop groups have many members and roles for a reason. They want each idol to shine in their own way. So, if you're good at rapping, perfect your rapping skills to impress the judges when you audition. Even though they might ask you to sing a different style in the audition, it's not important. If you're the best rapper at that audition, you are 100% going to pass even if your dancing skills are lacking. Habit number four, clean your personal information. First step is make sure you don't cause problems in school or in your day-to-day -day life. Don't become a TikTok or content creator. Keep your personal life as private as possible. It's very important for a K-pop idol to have a clean history. Some K-pop idols get canceled and lose their jobs after debut because haters find out about their past. Sometimes haters just make up fake stories to attack K-pop idols because they've disliked them since high school. It could be people you've known since you were young who will destroy your dream of becoming an idol. So be careful. The first step is to make sure that not having a lot of friends is your habit. Don't talk to many people, don't go to parties, don't drink, and keep any relationships private. If you had a relationship in high school, make sure it's private and don't take pictures together. K-pop companies don't debut any idol who has a love history all over the internet. If you already have a lot of friends, try to cut ties with unimportant ones and stay alone most of the time. If you don't upset anybody, nobody will destroy your dream in the future. This may seem cruel and lonely, but this is what it takes to become a K-pop idol. No company wants to lose a lot of money because their idol has a scandal, whether it's real or not. 
One more thing, make sure you don't show up in any fan club or fan meeting. If your fans find out that you are an obsessive fan like them, you will lose popularity because people will think you're not that special. That's why most K-pop idols rarely mention being a fan of other K-pop idols, they have to maintain their cool image. Habit number 5. Eating habit. Believe it or not, eating habits affect your chances of passing the audition. Eating incorrectly can lead to body fat, pimples on your face, and dry skin. They don't tell you that you'll be judged by your body and beauty because they're afraid fans will criticize the company. But believe me, the first thing K-pop companies look for is beauty. And more than that, they will examine your health records. No company wants a K-pop idol who is always sick and always in the hospital, instead of making them money. The first step is to start eating healthy food from now on every day. Avoid too spicy food, oily fried food, and processed food. Eat mostly fresh food and drink a lot of water. Avoid coffee because it can lead to stress, which in turn can cause pimples on your face and dark circles under your eyes. Habit number 6. Follow-up habit. Always keep up with the K-pop audition timeline. Do research on good K-pop companies at least every week to see if there is something new, which direction they are going, which K-pop company suits your style the best, or most importantly, which company is looking to debut more non-Korean idols. Follow K-pop makeup trends in Korea, follow every new K-pop group that debuts, listen to their songs, and learn from their mistakes. Some new K-pop groups that debut will flop. So study them and understand which mistakes led to their downfall, whether it was because of the company or the K-pop idols themselves, and avoid the mistakes they made. Keep up with which concepts the K-pop industry is leaning towards for the next five years. Because if you pass the audition today, it's going to take five years for you to debut as an idol. Habit number seven, motivation habit. Don't just want to become a K-pop idol because you like K-pop. If you tell your parents that you want to be an idol just because you like it, they will most likely reject you. Even you yourself will lose motivation soon enough within a year. You might find something else that you like more and stop training. The first step is to ask yourself why. When you find your why, you will keep going non-stop and will never losing motivation. Find the best answer for why you want to become a K-pop idol so badly that you can sacrifice your school life, your time with your family and friends for training. Find out what benefits being a K-pop idol can bring to you and the people around you, including your fans. What message do you want to convey to your fans through your songs and to the world? Note all the important reasons why you dream of becoming a K-pop idol in the first place and always come back and look at it whenever you feel like you're losing motivation. Habit number eight, independent habit. Learn to be independent from a young age because when you finally become a K-pop trainee, you're going to live alone, far away from your family. Some K-pop trainees cancel their contracts or drop out halfway because they are too emotionally weak. Most of them are still kids and don't know how to do most things by themselves. So, the first step is to learn to do things that your parents always do for you, starting now. Start with small tasks like learn how to cook, cleaning, preparing, and organizing your stuff or your application when you need it by yourself. Trust me, if you start doing all of this by yourself, your parents will trust you more to become a K-pop idol. Most parents want their child to be a superstar so bad, but they so worry about you. They don't want you to live alone in Korea, they think you just a stupid kid who has a random dream. But, if you start to show them that you are strong mentally and emotionally and get serious about your daily training, they will believe in you without you having to convince them. I see a lot of comments about parents not allowing them to join K-pop auditions, but sometimes it's because of you, yourself. You don't have anything to prove that you're serious and will be successful one day. They don't see your actions or your training. Your vocals are not good yet, you don't know how to play any instruments, your dancing skills are trash. How can you expect them to believe in you? Get out of bed and start training. Stop saying one day you will start, but start with day one after you finish this video. Habit number nine, observing habit. They say one of the smartest people is the one who asks a lot about everything. But the truth is, one of the smartest people is the one who is quiet and observes everything. People who know everything but keep their mouths shut. Make this your habit, whether in your everyday life, in K-pop auditions, or when you become a K-pop trainee. If you look at a K-pop trainee's life, they live together as a family, but remember, they are also competing for their life. Their whole career depend on that training session. In the end, the one who stays will become a K-pop idol with millions of fans and money. The one who gets cut off will become a nobody. So, don't trust anyone fully. Don't ask too many questions either. Learn to observe. Observe every mistake that other people make and make changes on your own. Observe the strengths of your rivals, analyze why they are better and which part of their talent led the company to choose them to debut instead of you. Improve your weaknesses silently and don't show off if you don't need to. Make your rivals think you are weak but show the company how 
how strong you are. When people are busy competing with each other, it's your time to observe and learn. Life is like a game, adapt and play it well or you lose. Habit number 10. Habit of speaking Korean the Korean language is important. The faster you learn it, the better. If you don't know Korean in the training program, it's hard for you and it's easy to get left behind. The first step is to learn the alphabet of the Korean language every day until you know all the alphabets. It's so easy to learn from YouTube and Google. Learn every day for the next two months, then start to learn simple everyday words like how are you and where are you going. After that, you should learn words from K-dramas with subtitles and learn to speak like them. It's so entertaining, and soon enough, you will know basic Korean without even noticing it. After learning Korean from K-dramas, the last part is to learn words from K-pop songs. The Korean language in K-pop is much harder and more random than normal day-to-day -day words. If you master it, you can also write your own song after debuting. So that's all for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. You can always change your mind. See you in the next one.